Hey, welcome back to this quick tip for Unity. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to get a basic screen touch input control using the UI system in Unity. Now in coding for Unity, there's a number of ways to read an input from the player. One of the most basic ways is to do something like if input dot get button down, and then something like string fire one. Now this if statement will be true anytime the player left clicks with the mouse on PC or touches their screen on a phone. But the problem with this is maybe you have some UI buttons that you want to be able to click without triggering this if statement. Well in that case you would want to add some condition to make sure that your cursor isn't over top any UI elements. Another way to read in a screen touch input from the player could be something like if input dot get touch zero dot phase equals touch phase dot begin. Now this if statement is very similar to our first if statement but one thing that's different is this first if statement works with both a mouse and a mobile screen, whereas the second if statement only works with a mobile screen. And they would both execute even if you're just trying to click on some other UI element like a button. But both of these options are similar in that they can both be used to control mechanics of your game, whether it's shooting a gun, or in the case of our zigzag tutorial, it can be used to change the direction a ball is rolling. Both of these input options are also similar because they are essentially a left click of the mouse or a touch of the screen, and neither option handles special conditions where your cursor or your touch is over top of a UI element such as a button which is bad because you might be trying to open up a menu and you'll end up shooting your gun as well. Now let me explain the quick tip for getting around this problem using UI elements. So I'm gonna remove this and we'll go back to Unity. Now all you have to do is create a UI button and so I'm going to go to the create dropdown menu of our hierarchy window, go to UI and select button You'll then want to full screen this button by putting the anchor points in all four corners of your canvas, and then you'll want to zero out the rec transform. Now you'll first notice that your button is now covering everything inside your game, which we don't want. Now all you have to do to fix this is reduce the alpha channel of your image component for your button. So you can make it mostly transparent, if not completely transparent. You'll then want to delete the text object that comes with the default button. And then you'll need to have some public function that you can pair to this button. Now there's a couple really nice things about reading in the player's single touch input this way. The first is that you don't have to use the update function to read in the player's input, but instead your action will be executed when this button is pressed. The other nice thing about doing it this way is you can add other UI elements on top of your button, so maybe another button for opening up a menu, and when you click that button, the button behind it, which is our full screen button, will not be clicked. But if I don't click on this button and click on the other button, you can see how our ball starts rolling. And the final benefit for reading in the player's input this way is that it works with both a left mouse click and a finger touch on a mobile device. The downside to this is it's really only meant for simple games and single touch controls. In other words, for really simple games like ZigZag, where you only have one input and one control. Now that's everything that I'm going to talk about in this quick tip Unity lesson. If you'd like to support us more here at InfoGamer, you might be interested in our new website and membership. Our membership will grant you ad-free access to our website and all of our videos, as well as huge discounts on our entire online store. All for the very affordable price of just $3 a month. So what are you waiting for? Go over to our website and sign up to become a member today.